Hey everybody, Jordy here, and welcome back to more Endless Sky, and I just want to ask first, do you guys even remember this game? I'm pretty sure we played this, like, this summer, um, and I absolutely love playing this game, but, uh, something new happened while I was playing it today. I thought I'd do a little bit of farming, I thought I'd do a little more. I, I was just bored, so, I, I was thinking of what, what games to play, then I was like, Endless Sky, I could get back into that. It's been, like, over, like, two freaking months since I played this, well, I think it has, or it's close to that, but I know it's certainly been more than a month. So I thought we'd play a little more of Endless Sky, because I just really love this game. Oh, here we go. It says, this game is open source. To contribute story writing. Okay. Uh, oh, story writing? Does that mean I can like, download, like, a modded version of this? And then, like, well, actually, they should have, like, a huge modding community behind this, because, like, um, am I good to pull up the Steam window? Hold on. I'm just gonna look look it up here. Uh, discussions, related groups, stable release. I want to see what they have here, so let's see. So, 8.30, um, so, so, so it was about a month since they did the stable release, 0 0.9.8. Oh, so it looks like they are still working on it. So, uh, if you guys don't mind, oh, actually, I don't want to show that. <laughs> um, I guess we could do that. Does that work? Well, it doesn't really, okay. I'll, I'll just do this, okay? Um, oh, Jesus, it doesn't want to work for me. Well, you, you guys can sort of see it on the screen. If it shows something I did, if I, if it shows something I don't want it to, I will simply just censor that. So, th this is what it says here. It's a stable release 0 0.9.8. I'm. Uh, it's fine that you guys get to see all this, okay? It, it's just, we, there's some of these we may not play. Don't overreact. Um, so, when exactly did I play this thing before? I think, it, no, I think we played it here. I don't know if we played it, no. No, I don't think we played it uh, during this thing here. I, yeah, I think we did unstable release. There we go, stable release now. Actually, I want to see if there's a, um... Let, let's see. Any beta programs that I can join? Can I click on this? Okay, there aren't any then. I'm going to move this back over just before I screw something up, okay? <laughs> because it is going to happen. But anyway, um, I believe I might have talked about this before, but something happened. So let, let's read the text. The moment you step, off, you step off your ship, you realize something is very wrong. The spaceport is eerily quiet, and a large crowd of people is gathered around a video screen in the local bear. You ask what is happening, and someone explains. Recently, a collection of local governments in the Southern Galactic... Um, sent the, the, the Republic Parliament what amounted to an ultimatum, a refusal to pay taxes until certain reforms were made in trade tariffs, ship licensing, and election of planetary representatives. The coalition calls themselves the Free Worlds. Parliament outright refused to consider their demands. Then, in the earlier morning, nuclear explosions on Geminis... Nuclear freaking explosions? Nuclear explosions on Geminis and Martini destroyed the Republic Navy Yard and Galactic Stock Exchange crippling the military and economic center of the Republic. The free worlds disclaim any responsibility for the attacks, despite the timing and the fact that the attacks serve their purposes very well. Unless the terrorists can be found or turn themselves in, civil war is imminent. It has been less than a year you bought your ship, and already the galaxy is falling apart on you. So, um, pretty much uh, after you play for a while in the game, uh, so, and, and hopefully by that time, uh, I think it's intended that you make enough money, uh, I believe you pay back your debt. Uh, for me, I have some crew members that I need to sustain, and I've been doing a little bit of farming. I made almost $100,000. I noticed that I had like 200000 at some point. I don't know how, but I'm excited to see some of the story missions, so we're going to go into the free world area. Uh, fortunately, we're peaceful with everyone right now. I'm so excited to be part of the free worlds, though. Like, well, well assuming that we will be able to join them. Oh, yeah, so this is... Wait, I haven't... I really haven't ventured that far down. These are free world systems. Well, we'll have to go there later because I'm doing a mission for someone else right now. Um, I'm, I'm going to go here and try and get some more map pieces so we can uh, hopefully venture out all the way to Saldemic. Well, we, we don't know their government. But for now, we're going to jump to here. I'm just, I'm so thrilled to play more of this game. Hopefully, you guys still enjoy, uh, hopefully, you guys still enjoy watching me play this because this game is amazing. And, oh, God, it's cold in here. I should probably actually put some proper clothes on. I, I'm not wearing a shirt, by the way. You guys probably didn't need to know that. <laughs> yeah, you guys definitely didn't need to know that. But 60 frames per second. This game, I don't think it's very demanding. I mean, I, I think I was able to run this on, like... Yeah, I think I was actually able to run this on my old PC. If you guys remember that, we did, like, all those old crappy uh, Ravenfield videos on there. They were of such low quality. Come on, bloody land. Oh, God, we even have screen tearing in this game. Are you serious? Dang it. 
<laughs> okay, so I remember Oblivion and this planet here. Uh, the atmosphere has a toxic, mis a toxic mix of ammonia, sulfur, and methane. Although breathable by human beings if necessary, the local use masks to reduce the risks of chronic respiratory problems. Even so, the life expectancy here is short, but that is partly because the two best paying industries are oil drilling and mining for radioactive elements. That's frickin' safe. Uh, I don't want to read this. Um, okay, so anyways, uh, we need to go to here. We need to buy a local map, show outfits and cargo. Uh, I don't want to show that. So there was definitely an update to this game. Hell yeah, man, buy that, son. All right, so let's see. What do we have now? Uh, Peacock. I need a system that has outfitter. Uh, it doesn't show me anything about you. Oh, it's uninhabited, that's why. Yep, uninhabited, unexplored. Um... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna travel to here and if and if I need any help I'll just ask for people's help right man I again I'm just so giddy to get back what the heck is this planet that is a gigantic gas giant um burning me up that all the old sisters are paying attention to the new by the way can I actually press enter and talk to people oh wait, T is talking to people I'm an idiot <laughs> sorry about that um hyperspace unexplored system hopefully takes us a little closer to here but we're about to run out of freaking hyperspace fuel so if it ends up badly i am screwed all right uh so yes it does have an outfitter all right so we'll oh i remember hopper i, I remember being on this planet before it looks really close to the sun let me read the description hopper is a temperature world of hopper is the temperate world of oceans uh mountains and plains but with unfortunately high levels of sulfuric acid in its atmosphere Metal and stone that are exposed to the atmosphere corrode quickly, requiring frequent maintenance. As a result, Hopper only has a few small settlements in it. Oh, on it, and and most of the industry is focused on under underground mining. The oceans are populated only by a few indigenous life forms that have adapted to their high elasticity. Earthfish could not be introduced successfully here. Yeah, you can sort of see why. If if there's a lot of sulfuric acid in the atmosphere, um, that's going to be a Problem. I almost forgot to buy a map, so I guess we'll just do that now. And these maps don't really cost. I mean, look how many credits we have. I think we can sustain ourselves for a while, provided that we don't have to pay like rent on like my ship. Oh wow, these guys actually have. Oh crap, I zoomed out. <laughs> um, uh, applying that these guys. Well, oh, I can go right there. Well, I actually want to make a stop here and here, so I can pick up maps from there. I know it's like a, a bit of a waste of like money here because I have to pay a hundred like increase dollars per day, right? But I really want to, like, unlock more of the map. And I also want to visit these planets. New Britain. I'm guessing that the the UK settled this system. What the heck is that ship? I want that ship. Um, let's see. What do they have in the shipyard? They have the Blackbird. I remember really liking the idea of getting the ship, but I never actually got it. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Holy crap. They have a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, well, it seems that way. I think some places have more. Like, for example, um, if we join the free worlds, we get some new interesting stuff. I remember that from playing that before. Wait, can we... Okay, uh, good, we can't sell that. Do not sell your um, pilot's license. And then we will also go here, right? right so now we have a wonderful map. We're going to go to the Terra Z system. I remember that system, actually. Wait, you've got three freaking planets? No spaceport, no shipyard, no outfitter. Well, if I can't... If you don't have a thing, how am I supposed to? Oh crap, I'm gonna be screwed. Land on Wayfarer. Land on Wayfarer, Jesus! What the hell is going on? Oh my god. So I remember this background, okay? Um, it was just like we're, we're freaking out, then, then, then we just land. Thank goodness, I do not intend to get killed. Oh, so they do have a lot of stuff here as well. So heavy lasers is something I got at some stage. Plasma cannons, there's going to be something involving that coming in the future. Uh, we, we can only get, like, turrets these, right? Um, modified blaster turret. I'm tempted to spend 70,000 weight. Weapon outfit. Do, we, do I have three? Okay. Outfit space, weapon capacity, three. Um, oh, they changed it to, instead of outfit, um, they changed it to capacity. Nice. All right. I love the modifications. Modified blaster turret. So turret mounts needed one mass fifteen required crew one range four hundred fifty four hundred twenty shield damage second hundred twenty ninety sixty eighty hundred sixty. I'm just comparing numbers. Hold on. Um, wait. Firing energy a second. Oh, of course that's all going to be higher. Wait. The heat is still higher. Firing heat a second. Five hundred fifty. Three fifty. Oh, is that going to be a problem? Do I need to add vents? Shots a second. Ten. Shots a second. Ten. Two forty. Wait. What? Three hundred. 240. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, you know, I might want to get some sort of coolant system anyways. 
Uh, oh, I can upgrade my shield generator. I, I, I'm just like, I want to spend my money. But the main problem is my ship does not have enough outfit space, and that's something that's always going to be a problem. Holy crap, large radar jammer. This high power radar jammer will make it much more difficult for missiles that rely on radar to track you. It will not affect missiles that track you optically or look for your heat ship signature. Um, that is very interesting. Radar jammer. Designed to interfere with sidewind sidewinders and other missiles. This could be really freaking useful. It's only, I'm, I really want to spend some money. Scram drive. This is really useful in the future, but it uses a lot more hyperspace fuel. But we can pretty much, like, move around really quickly. Afterburner is pretty cool as well. I got that at some stage. Uh, some laser rifle. I'm going to buy, like, four of those in total because uh, I do not intend to get looted. All right, did I? I didn't even buy a map while I'm here. Okay, let, let's buy a map. There we go. Now we can settle the lands free and home. All right, let's 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 hope we don't get, don't get attacked again, okay? Do not kill me. Echo, what the- Quarg? Hold on. I, I wanna- I wanna go to a Quarg planet. Cause, cause that's like Republic, and this is the Quarg, and um... I- I remember that from way before this, like, Quarg has like, planets here. Oh yeah, yeah, th th these are the Quarg systems. I remember this little triangle here. It looks really cool. Wait, have we got a mission? Alright, uh, you had seen pictures and videos of the Quarg before. This is your first time in a spaceport that is actually owned by them. The architecture is truly alien. Uncomfortably tall ceilings, strange colors, and walls that never quite seem to meet you at the... the never seem to meet at the right angles. No, meet at right angles, not meet at the right angles. That's pretty cool, though. The Quarg themselves are especially strange, towering above you. Some nearly three meters tall. Holy crap. The legs bend backwards at the bottom, like a dog walking on its hind feet. They move gracefully and almost silently. Most of the Quarg you see are dressed entirely of shades of gray. How many shades of gray? That's 50 shades of gray, everyone. <laughs> or slight hints of color. The Quarg fashion seems to revolve not around color, but texture. Coarse and fine woven fabrics. Pa patterns like lizard scales or cobblestones, and occasional decorative fringes of sponge-like material. You know, whoever wrote this should be like a like a, a story writer. No, they they should write some sort of fiction thing. It'd be so cool if someone made like a book around this game. I would I would so buy that book. Their skin is deep gray, sometimes with a hint of green or blue or brown beneath it, with a fine scale pattern like a reptile. But what you but what makes their eyes startling is that they look very human, except that some of them have gold or violet irises instead of green, blue, or brown. They have no hair, but many are wearing small cloth caps or hoods. This is really awesome. Uh, one of the Quarg notices you gawking at them and walks over. It squats down on it. Oh my god. It squats down on its haunches so that its eyes are level with your own. And says, hello. Its voice is deep, sounding like an accordion or the buzz of a beehive blended with the hum of a starship engine. Hello. My only option. Let's click on it. Um, let's see. Uh, speaking slowly and deliberately... Um, it says, I think you are new here. Are you what is called a tourist? Sort of, but I don't want to say that. I'm here to buy and sell. I don't want to sound like a... I, I want to make friends, okay? I see. The car bring, blinks slowly. Its eyelids come from the sides of its eyes instead of up and down. In otherwise so human eye... In an otherwise so human eye, this, the effect is disconcerting. Many humans have many questions when they see us, and we, the Quarg, live for many lifetimes of humans. So it is not burdensome for this one to speak with you. Can you tell me about the Quarg? Are there any alien species in the galaxy? It is an honor to speak with you. Oh, all right. I want to ask questions. Can you tell me about the Quarg? We, we, we the Quarg, are unique of all the species in the galaxy. Our species began on the moon of a great gas giant, on a planet most small that gathered about itself very little air we cannot step many steps on the world that the high the korath the other species desire wait there are more of them what the hell and the world's like our home you could not breathe their so thin air for our lungs are very suitable and we are an old race and do not kill for support and do not kill for sport or whimsy so the drac gave us the gift uh, that we may go among the other races and settle where we please and make friends of all because none dare be our enemy. Um, what? Okay, who are the dark? I mean, Drac, crap. And we can actually scroll up here. Uh, the Drac are the eldest. Oh, I can actually use my mouse to control that. The Drac are the eldest living, not the firstborn, for they are long gone. But the. Oh, crap. I can scroll down. That's. That, that's weird. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just fix that. Give me a sec. Okay, uh, not for, not the firstborn, for they are long gone. But the eldest living, and and yet they are far younger than the stars. They they tend and cultivate the pathway between the stars and prune the away the path that any species could travel to make war against one another. And they hold the secret of travel beyond those pathways. 
and give the secret to only a worthy few so that peace may prevail. He taps his chest with one hand, singling that the Korg are among those few, not that the Drac are strangers to war. Um, planets and moons and even stars were consumed in their wars and are no more, but they learned. W but then they learned wisdom and have fought no more wars. Many million... Mil many millions of human years they live nearby, but have but what they keep to themselves and intervene in the affairs of other races only to prevent the destruction or the use of obscene technologies of war. We humans have used some rather destructive weapons against each other, and no alien species has ever stepped in to put a stop to it. Hmm. Y you have done what? Awakened the atom? There are weapons far worse than that. Consuming planets, snuffing out stars, tearing the flesh of space and time itself. Weapons of chaos I pray your reckless race cannot even yet conceive of. No, I didn't even say that right. These things will attract the attention of the Drac because they nearly destroyed the, this galaxy once and must not be allowed to do so again. Well, if there are technologies that dangerous out there, I hope the Drac do continue to seed and keeping them from being used. I hope so too, human. The Korg stands up, towering over you once again. As long as you are a seeker of peace, you are most welcome on our world at any time. It bows to you. I'm not sure if that is a Korg guest or two, or if it is simply imitating a human custom. But you bow in return, and the Korg walks quietly away. That was amazing! I really enjoyed that. The outpost was not really designed with human beings in mind. Of course it's the Korg! What the hell were you expecting? This is called Echo, I think. That was amazing! That was like reading a book. That took like five minutes. Holy crap. That was awesome. I really love reading dialogue. It's like a story, but I always manage to screw it up because I can't read. Well, I can read. I'm just not very good. I'm better at reading in my head, okay? I think everybody is. Like maybe unless you're dyslexic, I don't know. Maybe it helps to read it out loud if you're dyslexic. Oh, I've seen this before. Um, yeah, I've seen this before. This is really cool. Hold on. I'm gonna do a little bit of flying around first. I wanna see what this actually looks like. Because like, if you guys can see here, it's like a literal circle. It looks, what the heck are you? So it must have, yeah, I've seen that ship that just disappeared before. So it's like this thing that encompasses the sun. Is this sort of like a Dyson? No, not that. No, I think it's called, like, the Dyson Sphere. That would be really cool if that actually exists. Alright, I want to see what this thing is all about. No, come back! Wait, Republic things are landing there? What the heck? Alright. Oh, wow. This looks really impressive. Uh, I don't want to read that, though. Alright, let, let's just head to the next system. This is going to be... Oh, wait, crap. I, I'm going to be late if I don't. And I'm supposed to be, like, delivering paperwork, right? I've already burned through, like, what? Um, and I'm really good at spending money, everyone. That's probably not a good thing. All right, let, let's just land. This looks like, I guess I guess you'd call it a super giant. What the heck is that? Quarg Skylar. Uh, you drop off the legal papers and collect your payment of 100,000 credits. That was so worth doing. Awesome. Although human beings do not mind be mining in low gravity. Wait. Although human beings who do not mind living in low gravity are welcome to settle here, Gangcord is part of Quarg territory and has been terraformed to meet their environmental needs rather than those of human beings. The full extent of qu the Quarg mining operations here are not known, but rumors say that they have tunnels reaching down almost halfway to the moon's core. It's, oh yeah, of course it's a moon. The Quarg ship can also sometimes be seen harvesting the hydrogen gas from the upper atmosphere of the gas giant that, uh, Gracord orbits. Is there a name for that gas giant? That was nice, though. I really freaking enjoyed that. But now we're going to go explore the free worlds because we have, like, infinite fuel. So, let's see. Uh, one, two, three. One, two... Crap. Uh, unless that's a... Okay, I'm going to guess. One, two, three, assuming that's right. Uh, I'll go... Yeah, I'll go here because I know... I'm just... Again, I'm going to assume that this is good. Um, all right. If not, we can always just ask for... If not, we can always just ask someone for fuel, right? Right, then we'll just... Oh, I really want to go underneath, though, but I'm so scared it's not going to work. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. I, I feel safer going here. All right, let's go! Sorry for my self-conflict there. Oh, I'm so I'm so stoked about playing this. I hope this game gets more updates soon. I, I seriously, I seriously want to do a lot more of this. I also love the look of the system here. I think it looks awesome. Uh, I never actually, like, zoomed out all the way before, either. This looks very nice. Wow, but it, it makes you feel really slow. Oh, you can zoom in a lot as well. Look at the rings on that planet. That looks beautiful. Oh, crap. We actually need to land. <laughs> I wonder what, like, space fighting looks like, like, way zoomed out. I, I want to see some of that jazz. Landing on New Britain. All right, I'm just here to go, okay? I, I need to I need to make my way, uh, make my way downtown. Walking fast, uh, paces plus homebound. 
I don't, I don't even know what this I'm trying to reference, okay? Hey, why is my FPS dropping? Go back up to 60, simple screen recorder. I'm supposed to keep at 60. Oh, actually, I, I didn't intentionally lock the game at 60. All right, uh, we're on one more hyperspace fuel, please. Oh, yeah, Delta Singari. I, uh, Satagari, I've seen that before. Crap! I knew I'd be unlucky. It's always that way. I, I need to get in contact with someone. Hold on. Before pirates show up, or I am screwed. All right. Uh, and talk, ask for help. Thank you. I did. I really hope we this wouldn't happen. This is, and I guess we'll just ask for fuel on the way because I do not want to stop and have to pay extra for my crew. Okay. No pay extra, please. Am I facing the right way? Does that seem good? Okay, I want to turn a little bit that way. Okay. Sorry if that like is a bit odd. Uh, be wary of all those pirates if you ever find yourself visiting the edges of Syndicate space. Yeah, Syndicate is a syndicate. <laughs> Oh, really? I do adjust that. That's stupid. See you later. Get attacked by pirates. Okay, I don't have the patience to ask people for fuel. I'm just gonna land. <laughs> That's kind of an impatient thing to do, but... I, I said I was impatient, right? New Iceland is a perpetually hazy volcanic world. Interesting. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... As you are walking through the spaceport, a young man approaches you and says, Excuse me, Captain, is there any chance you are traveling towards the core? He's probably in his late teens, barely more than a kid. I'm guessing he means, like, the soul area. I'm sure I could work that into my plans. Where are you headed? All right. Well, here's the story. My girlfriend's father won't let us get married until I have some money saved up. He says there's plenty of jobs to be had on Sun Racer, so I'm headed there to put down roots and get myself established. Then in a year or two, she can come and join me. Um, wait, what? Oh, that's Syndicate Space. Are you sure about that? I've heard some bad things about the Syndicate's company town. Okay, well, I'd be glad to take you there. Thank you, Captain. He says, shaking your hand. You bring him aboard your ship and show him to one of the empty bunks. It could take a few days, because I'm going here. Wait, do I, is there, like, a time limit I have? More fact. Of course that's bloody Syndicate. Well, I'm going here first, dude. So you're going to have to be a little patient, okay? Um, one, two, three, okay. I, I will go there first. So let's jump, everyone. Hell yeah, man, let's do this. And let's go to Aloth, and then we will go to Sarah. Hopefully, actually, is it this place? Yeah, okay. I guess we'll just make our way over there. It could take a really long time to get there. I thought that's it. A <laughs> I thought that's something else system. All right. No, I'm not, no inhabited planets detected. So yeah, that is a mission. Oh, I'm, I'm again. I'm just way too giddy. Hey, look, a red dwarf orbiting a uh, star, orbiting a red dwarf. I'm just doing like uh, the, the the a black and white penguin in a black and white revolving door. I don't even know what I'm trying to reference anymore. Also, if you guys didn't notice before, uh, the the planets actually revolve around their planets, right? I mean, land. Don't don't press J. Oh, so that's the trade weight. Hold on. I want to see. Um, wait, can I change it? Friendly. There we go. Friendly. Uh, so these are all friendly. These are somewhat restricted. Wait, dominated? What the hell does that mean? Dominated. I have never seen a dominated sector in my whole time of playing this game. I don't even know why that exists. But I guess it's for some purpose, right? So let's see. Depart. Holy crap, I'm getting the hell out of here. See y'all later. Bye-bye. I'll fire that guy. Bye. And he's dead. Oh, well. Sucks to be him. <laughs> oh, God. More pirates. I like, that, I like that an alarm goes off now, though. I think it sounds pretty nice. Oh, crap. Are you serious? Could I not get there? I maybe that's the end. No, this is the entrance. Crap! I remember now. That's the whole entrance into the bloody. Okay, well. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I should have remembered it too, you know. Oh, oh, that pirate isn't gone. Well, it's just my luck. Hope we just try and fire at him, right? What? I really can't aim with this thing. That's stupid. Oh, so I guess we need to go here, right? So yeah, this is the way into the, um, this is the way, it, well, it should be the way anyway, it should be the way, uh, into the free world systems. And we should start to see free world ships, uh, soon. The free worlds has a special, uh, set of colors as I have. Um, and if you join the free worlds, you will get that. I, I wish there was, like, a sort of, like, uh, Republic side, because I have, like, explored the free world, sorry, uh, so, sort of, uh, story missions, right? Oh, there is a planet you can land. Oh, I remember that. There is a planet you, you can land on, but it's uninhabited. Yes, this is a free world's planet. Thank you, free worlds. I will I will land. Uh, okay, so, wait. Okay, I thought it was going to be something else. 
Deep. Oh, they, I think they changed the thing here. That looks nice. Uh, deep is a sparsely populated world of a small island archipelago surrounded by vast expanses of empty ocean. Let's see. I'm going to find someone in the spaceport. There's no one in the spaceport. Are you serious? I came down here for nothing. Well, at least you guys get to see the proof that there are free worlds. So I guess we'll go up here, right? Um, I think I'm gonna, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so for now we'll go there, um, I'll get uh, a map at Defida, or however the hell you pronounce that. Oh, Deep and Clink! Hold on, I'm gonna try landing on, okay, well, I guess we'll try that another time, because I, I, I remember Deep and Clink, but I don't remember, like, the, the green thing around them, and I don't remember Republic being red, you know? That looks much different than I remember. Oh, I guess, yeah, Republic is red, oh boy. I'm gonna enjoy doing that. Um, anyways, let's keep going. Wait, um, if we click on here, I'm gonna click on friendly. There we go. But the Republic, apparently the color of the Republic is like orange. The color of the free world is green, yay! I will pay my ship green and join the free worlds. And we might actually do that if I get bored. And, and if we don't find something like, uh, uh, you know, for like the Republic. I'd very much like to join the Republic because again, I have seen the other path um, and I want to do new stuff. All right, let's jump to the Seb Alari. How the hell do you say that? <laughs> oh, good God. I've been recording for like, what, 26 minutes now? I don't know if that's going to make too long of a video because I don't want to really cut this video up. I want you guys to see like the whole thing because I want to prove to you guys that this actually... Or maybe I'll just like cut between jumps, right? Unless I'm talking about something important. I probably won't cut this one, but if I carry on for any longer um, and, and don't really have anything interesting or important to say... I will probably cut the jump space out, right? I should probably... Oh, yeah, this is the world... Uh, yeah, it was the world that we started on this video. All right, so I guess we'll, again, go from here, try and find our way to there. I, I'm guessing it's, like, a way through here because the paths aren't always logical. That's what I've discovered. And it already sort of to told me that, I think, because it should tell you that well when you're playing this game. Unless they updated it, right? All right, just through Seoul. Through through Seoul, we will go to Kath and Dipfida. How will that... How are you supposed to say that? All right. Um, restricted. <laughs> How am I supposed to get... Oh, sorry, I burped. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, wait. I can actually hold J down and it'll show me? Well, that was a feature before, of course. I'm just an idiot. Oh, wait, are these like... These are Syndicate. This is Syndicate space. Okay, yeah, Syndicate is kind of tricky. Uh, av avoid all the thugs if you ever find yourself crossing through the north. I will do that. I'll land on Tinker. Yeah, I remember Tinker. Uh, I get stuck in my head. I, I was into them before they were popular. <laughs> look, look at this. That's funny. Don't sink me. It's like a thing to like, not get chips to kill each other, I'm guessing. Great, great, great job, everyone. Buy a map and let's go. Wait, I, I want to see what they have in their shipyard. Ooh, they have some nice ships. Quicksilver, light warship. I'm not interested in getting that. Look how much that costs. Barb? What the heck? I've never, I've really never seen that ship before. And I wonder if you actually join the syndicate. That would be intro. Oh crap! I zoomed out again. Um, okay, so I'll go I'm gonna go up to there because I don't think I I don't think this is the right place. But I may as well have bought a map anyways, right? Because it's good to buy maps. Actually, what exactly does this say? Okay, so it has an Alfred as well. I think this is the way we need to go, right? I'm gonna hold J down. To Akamire we go. I said jump. Oh, I have to let go of J. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. All right, so if I hold it down here, right, it won't let me go until I hold it. That, well, actually, if, if, I wonder what happens if I keep holding it down. I mean, it, uh, it's probably going to restrict me. Jump. I have to let go of it. That's preposterous. It's probably like a fail safe. Okay, let, let's land. Uh, Maelstrom. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, of course. I guess it's pronounced like Maelstrom. Maelstrom by the Republic. Maelstrom is a stormy, geologically long, young, young world with towering mountains and frequent earthquakes. Anyone in the spaceport? Excuse me, Captain. Um, Calda. Where the hell is that? Okay. Well, I'll accept it anyways. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Do I have to do this? How much is that? Payment is... Sorry, buddy. I don't want to take it. Screw you. I have other things to do. Like, buy a map for first off, right? All right, let's buy a local map. Um, any paths? Yes, we have a path. But these are all uninhabited syndicate. What the hell are you doing? I can't get there. This is unexplored. Well, technically it is unexplored. Well, I guess we'll just see. But I feel like those are all uninhabited. You know, I guess we'll just ask for some help. The syndicate 
Wait, this is these are this is Republic space. Why are they doing nothing with it? That's totally uninhabited. None of these planets. Okay, Republic, you're an idiot. Syndicate, you should be doing something with your systems. <laughs> I'm just like criticizing all of them, right? Criticize them, every last one of them. Please, other ships, show up at some stage. I really, really need to get some fuel, like, around here. Well, it's a good thing I dodged those pirates. Pirate Dodger 202! Heh, <laughs> you guys got that one. That was savage. Oh, what? oh my god, pirates, just go away! Uh, then I need to go to this thing, because that, that system better not be uninhabited, okay? I swear, if it isn't. Alright, now, now, now we play the waiting game. I hate playing the waiting game. Let's tap it. Tippity tap it too. Perfect. We are geostationary. And T asks for help. Hey, that's, uh, I think it's called a wasp ship. Yep, it's a wasp. And you're quickly zooming around. That ship can move pretty fast. That's pretty nice. Alright, well, let's jump. I'm not gonna be able to get back. I just wanna say that. I mean, not without help anyways. Alright, well, let's land. All right, well, it's good to know. Wait, can't, could I have gotten back this way? That's embarrassing if so. Oh, well, sucks to be me. Landing on Sunracer. Oh, this thing has everything that I might need, but it's syndicate space. All right. Yay! You drop off the young man from New Iceland who is hoping to find, who is hoping to find work and save enough money for his girlfriend to join him. Good luck, you say. Be wise. Don't let yourself get into debt. He thanks you and pays you 29,500 crests. Dude, you could have paid me nothing. I would have done it anyways. Um, shipyard, what do you got? Just a bunch of the same things. Oh, the, I like the look of the splinter, but that's expensive as hell. <laughs> uh, of course, there's still the stair bridge here. Uh, oh, what, oh, they still have a manta. I've actually, I haven't seen that one before. That looks nice, though. All right, now let's get this, because I, of course, want to get maps of everywhere. Look how much money I've spent in this video. I've spent an amazing amount of money. What the heck? Oh, uh, well, that's, a, that's a pirate system. Let's see. Stormhold, can I get any information? Okay, well, I guess not. Oh, I can go around. Okay, nice, because I really don't want to, like, have to do that again. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, actually, I, I could have technically gone down here instead of going up. Uh, it'd be better if I just went there in the first place, but I, I don't think I knew that yet. All right, I guess we'll just go around here. You know what? I think we're actually going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed I'm going to save this. Uh, let's see. Save two, right? Save two. I do not want to lose my progress just in case. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know in the comments because I want to do more of this if you guys do like it. I know these parts probably are a little lengthy because I do not intend to cut this video up. It's just going to be one whole part if, well, as planned. Well, I don't, yeah, nobody interrupted me, so it is going to be one whole part. Zero cuts at all, hopefully. Uh, but I, I'm just so excited to play more of this if, uh, if I do still carry the enthusiasm onto tomorrow or a couple days. I don't want to make the same sort of video like several days in a row. Um, sounds from public domain sources. Yep, freesound.org. Maybe I should try that sometime. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.